Lads, we have major news in the realm of Fortnite, and it's going to have significant effects on the future of the Battle Pass. Now, Fortnite has just announced that Battle Pass collaboration items from this point onward can now be put into the Fortnite shop 18 months after their initial release. Considering the history of Fortnite, where we've had collabs in the Battle Pass ranging from DC to Marvel to Predator to video games like Tomb Raider even, this is a major change though. Epic Games is saying this will not be retroactive, they will not be drawing from old battle passes to put those skins in the shop. Though there was a very big language change from chapter 1 to chapter 2 that would allow them to do this, so far Epic Games has decided against it. Now you may be enjoying the change like I know a lot of players are, but you may also be wondering, what happened? What made Epic Games make this decision? Well, there are definitely some recent events that have changed the profitability potential of Fortnite. Most notable is that this wrecked season is an all-time low for players. So even though Fortnite already has the cycle of the regular battle pass, leading into a festival or Lego pass, then leading into a collaborative battle pass, generally taking about $50 every season to acquire them all. It seems that this double dipping and triple dipping on the Battle Pass system hasn't really benefited them since they've balanced the game in a way that most players don't seem to enjoy. But that's only one factor. If you're watching this video on the day it was uploaded, it was only yesterday that Epic Games made a major malfunction with the item shop. When they accidentally released the Paradigm, back into the item shop for the first time since chapter one. One of the most notable skins of the seven who was actually reworked in a battle pass to be played by Brie Larson. Now they were considering taking this skin away from people and just refunding their V-Bucks, but I'm happy to say that if you manage to buy this skin before they took it out of the game, you will keep it and they're just gonna make an alternate OG style for those who bought it in the past. And apparently this all happened because someone in Epic Games headquarters was trying to spoof a six-year-old Fortnite meme about the Fortnite burger. So someone in Fortnite was trying to make a silly and made a major fail instead. But again, they recognized that it was their mistake, so they're gonna allow players to keep the paradigm, even going to the extent of allowing original purchasers to refund the item if they don't want it anymore. And it was less than 24 hours later when Fortnite announced that future Battle Pass collabs can return to the item shop after 18 months. And they actually even released patch notes for this, stating that this is 18 or more months from the Battle Pass's expiration, and the Battle Pass item may come with a different number of alt styles each time it comes to the shop. So they reserve the right to iterate on the skin into the future. Now I think this is a welcome change, and I know a lot of people are going to enjoy this. It's always been weird to me that certain collabs like like Tomb Raider, Predator, a bunch of DC and Marvel skins are just stuck in the past of Fortnite and newer players don't have a chance to get their hands on these. But this change is not exclusive to the collab skins actually. All types of cosmetics at least 18 months after the battle pass expires can be added to the shop. Outfits, backlings, pickaxes, emotes, instruments. So they are reserving the right to deconstruct battle passes now. And to be honest, battle passes were always more about the deal of getting a lot of stuff for pretty cheap. The exclusivity part was really there to draw the player base in. But now that Fortnite has reached a kind of critical mass where most people have played Fortnite and the only people who are going to play Fortnite from this point forward are children. Children who have never played the game before. I think this is a really welcome change, but I don't expect to see regular battle pass skins in the shop really ever because most of the Battle Pass skins are tied to the storyline of the season. And Fortnite of all games is notorious for just moving that ball forward. They don't look back, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe they'll flash back, but they don't look back. This is an interesting aspect though. If a Battle Pass item in the shop with alt styles included, players have the option to purchase those included Battle Pass styles and the base item if they don't have it. So if you miss out on completing styles in your Battle Pass, you can actually purchase them through the shop. Pretty cool for the completionists if you don't have the time to level up in a particular season. And this will even extend to items in the bonus and quest rewards tab. Wow, so everything top to bottom in the battle pass will be resellable from now on. Again, technically the language has been like that since the beginning of chapter 2. However, they've never done it and I'm sure they would get challenged in court if they did do it. Which is why they're doing the contract rewrite now. This is a definitive line right here in chapter 5 season 3 going into season 4 which by the way 
is going to be a Marvel season, which is the major reason they're doing this. Because last time they did the Marvel season, they didn't reserve the right to resell the skins, or at least the contract wasn't as clear. And they regret that now, definitely. No changes to Battle Pass pricing at all. And really, if you look at the language, this is all about the crossover skins. Uh, it's important to note that Disney now has a minor stake in Epic Games. They're not just a partner, they're an investor. And they want to make sure that their skins get the maximal profit they possibly can. People look at Epic Games as kind of a Chinese company because Tencent owns quite a bit of it. But from my perspective, Disney is going to be much more demanding about profitability, much more controlling about the way cosmetics are handled. And no doubt they're even going to dip their fingers into how the game is designed. Next season is going to be a real question of what was Epic Games' decision and what was Disney's decision. And this item shop change just joins a bunch of happenings that we had over the past week. We had the de-confirmation of a Five Nights at Freddy's collab. Turns out that was in Dead by Daylight. We got the Fall Guy collab instead. We have the beginning of the live event that will end this season in only a few days. And when that happens, who knows where this game will go. We know for a fact that this is going to lead into a Chapter 2 flashback similar to how we did chapter one flashback last year which will immediately go into chapter six but we have no clue what that looks like no leaks so far no news and it's all under a different creative developer than donald mustard so if you thought this chapter was different from traditional fortnite i can't even imagine what chapter six is gonna look like however there's still more work to do there's a bunch of skins that are not battle pass collabs that have still not returned to the shop we have God of War, we have the Borderlands skin, and so many others. So if you want to see a particular skin return to the shop, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below what is the collab skin you want the most in Fortnite history. What skins are you hoping make it into the next Marvel Battle Pass? And if you're an OG player, are you a fan of this cosmetic change? Or do you want your skins to stay exclusive? And speaking of exclusive Marvel skins, I recommend you check out this video next to me where I drop a 20 bomb in Fortnite Reload using the Chapter 2 Deadpool and Wolverine skins.